Hello and welcome to another CG tip. In this video I want to show you how to fix your rig when the blend shapes won't follow the model as it deforms. This can sometimes happen if you add blend shapes after a model has been skinned to a skeleton. So here we have a very basic head rig. Some of you may have seen this guy before. The head joint controls where the head is pointing using a skin cluster. We also have some blend shapes which will deform the model and give him some facial expressions. A wide smile, a frown and a few others. These all seem to work well. The problem is when we use the joint to pose the head and then try to use a blend shape, this happens. The vertices in the head model blend back to the exact blend shape pose. So this essentially breaks the rig because we can't pose him and animate his face at the same time. If we select the head model and look in the channel box, under inputs you see the two deformers. Face shapes is the blend shape deformer and skin cluster one is what the joint uses to control the head. Now the problem is they aren't in the right order. Because the blend shape node is on top, that has priority. So when activated, it's overwriting everything that's happened before it. So it's ignoring the skin cluster. So what we need to do is change the priority, but we don't want to have to redo all of our work to do this. Luckily, we don't have to. All you need to do is select the main model and right click. Go down to Inputs and then All Inputs. You can now see a list of the inputs affecting the head. We want the Blend Shape node to be before the skin cluster. So all you need to do is use the middle mouse button to select and move the Blend Shape node down under the skin cluster. There, you could see this updating the model. We can now adjust the blend shapes and the head stays in this pose. We can move the head, adjust the blend shapes and it all works as we would expect. There is also another way to avoid this issue if you're adding blend shapes to an already skinned model. Open the blend shape options and go to the advanced tab. By default, the deformation order is set to automatic. All you need to do is make sure it's set to pre-deformation. This will slip the blend shape node behind any skin clusters that exist. So this will ensure the model deforms as expected. But to be fair, as you've seen, it's not hard to update the deformation order later yourself. So there we go, a really quick tip showing how to update the order of your deformers using the inputs window. Well, we've come to the end of another video. If you found it useful, please hit that like button to show your support. While you're at it, you could also subscribe and enable notifications so you're kept up to date with future videos and community posts. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will try my best to reply. Alternatively, you could post them in the AntCGI Facebook group or the AntCGI Discord server, where I spend more of my time. You can find links to both in the description below. Remember that you can also join the AntCGI club to help support future videos while also earning yourself exclusive rewards. Alternatively, if you would just like to show your appreciation, why not treat me to a coffee at my coffee page? The link is on the screen now and in the description below. Thanks again, this is AntCGI signing off and I will see you on the next one.